Next up, let's look at document history on the student side of things. On the teacher side, I can get in and see how many times somebody submitted something, how many edits they made, who else maybe helped them with those edits. That's really handy for me as a teacher. Students can see the same features. We're going to get into my hypothetical student. I'm going to open this assignment and show you what she can see as well as what I can see. So here's a document. Here's the comments I've made. When my student opens their work, any of your students, or you, the student, open your work, you get two places you can see those edits. One is right up here where it says last edit was however many minutes ago. And you'll be able to see the current version of the document or the slides or the whatever it is and the original restoring and however many others there are they would all be all on this side over here in version history you restore it back to the original one and you can use it any which way you want to and that's the history of the document being edited also in the same line if you follow it over to here you can see the history for this file in terms of when it's been updated. Here's the activity dashboard. If this got turned in and returned and turned in and resubmitted over the course of several days, you would see that right here. You can see the viewer trend, how many unique views, how many other people looked at it, what, what else was going on with it. There's a comment trend. If there were people, if this was a peer editing task, you would see that. Sharing history. If I've shared it with somebody else, if the student has shared it with a variety of people, be able to tell that. You can also look at privacy settings and change what that history looks like. That's all over here in the activity dashboard. Then you can close that. Again, that's this history for that document. This is also the editing history for the document. So students can get to that information. Teachers as well in that assignment can get to that same information. This is the teacher view and I can see the history right over here. It was turned in most recently here. Here's the history. It was missing. It was turned in late. It's missing. It was turned in late. It was a draft grade. It got returned. Here's everything that went back and forth between myself and the student. You can also open this up and see the last edit that was made however many minutes ago, hours ago, days ago. It's the same information about the document and about how the student has worked with it. It can be really handy if there's a question, if the student says, wait, I turned this in, you and the student can both look and say, oh yeah, you're right, you did turn that in. It wasn't on the day it was due. Or no, sorry, it wasn't in when it was supposed to be turned in. It gives everybody some insight into how that document came to be. And that's viewing document history in Google Classroom and specifically in a Google Doc. The same buttons in the same places are available in slides, in drawings, in anything that anybody turns in. So I hope that helps you find those features and answer those questions.